What's going on guys, your boy Terabyte Reacts here, and I'm back with another reaction, man. Today we're checking out, again, another Adam Calhoun. This one is called Dennis Rodman, so no more time wasting. Let's jump into this. You already know how I feel about this guy, man. Guy is a cadence genius. Let's do this. Dennis Rodman, give this man a round of applause. Let's do this. The beat. It's good to be alive if you ain't on my side. I hope you die. Yeah, yeah. Trying to get this shit up off the ground. If you ain't helping, move around. I hope you drowning down a bunch of downers and die in the parking lot at McDonald's. Fuck round. Yeah. Hit him so hard that he can't get up. Don't say sorry now, I can't pass shit up. Matter of fact, asshole, try giving you a pass because everyone knows you can't back shit up. Hold, 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 hold on a here. second. Hold on a minute, Adam. We we not gonna pass those. You don't try to sneak no bars past me, even though I still miss them. <laughs> Hold on, I just, I just, um, reacted to, I did Huck Fogier, I did Huck Fogier, um, before, before, um, I did this one, Dennis Rodman, damn, <laughs> so I know he got some sort of beef with, with Hozier or, or something of the, of the sort, um, Damn, and he's staying on that. He's like, yo, your career is dead, bro. Damn. That's no, you can't back shit up. Hold out a shit talk. Look at what we got here. Everywhere I go, though. They not there. Motherfuckers not there. Touch a hair on my head. Get dead like hoes his whole career. I ain't got no problem ending your life for you hit old age. Fuck that battle rap and sign that waiver, bitch. Get in the case. All I hear is chit chatting about this and that up on your page. But I ain't hearing shit after. All right, back to shitting on you motherfuckers. <laughs> Heard something about a beast, huh? He sucks, these nuts. Kill him dead like a tree stump. Put him in the ground like an old ass dog. Feed him to the hogs. He ain't even with the fucking coffin. Done talking about pointless shit. The point is this. The boy's a bitch. Avoid me if I see you be cool. Cause we do shit different. I'll slap the dip out your lip in. Mm -hmm. I go again, talk about trolls again. But a grown ass man acting like hoes again. Opening DMs like, what the fuck? If you see me, better hop your ass out the truck. Listen real close. I don't give a fuck. I told you don't. It's sickening how I keep doing this shit again And I ain't listening to you cause you ain't good with a pen Spitting a ten, you fix your pretend and I'm fixing the end You shitting right now, shoulda never let me in Now I'm never letting off, never going soft Like a hard dick prick, what you thought? Eminem was the only one that can spit bitch This shit ain't no joke, Storm, come on motherfucker, get your raincoat That was hard. That was a nice little snippet. <laughs> that was a nice, nice little two-minute snippet of what Adam can do, man. And I have to say, man, this guy is a very unique and special talent. And the reason why why I say that is because I know he's pretty up there, you know, in age. But you can see that he's been doing it for a long time. And he knows when to do what on a, on a beat when to do what you know and there's still uh you know the controversy which i don't consider to be a controversy really but it's it is a controversy of him saying the n-word and all of this other stuff and i'm like listen guys he made a video to make a point it's it, you know what i mean and, and I, I wouldn't be surprised if he has black friends that that you know what i'm saying like he talked to them just like that i wouldn't be surprised and it's not a big deal. I don't know. People 
I was watching this discussion the other day where someone was talking about um, who is allowed to say the N word and, you know, multiple people in the room. But I but I noticed one thing. They were all black. OK, you're having a discussion, you're having a debate, but you won't you don't have any white people in the room because what they they can't have an opinion on this. And that's what I'm trying to say. If you're trying to end segregation, racism, and all of this other stuff that you say you're fighting for, everybody should be included in a discussion like that. You get what I'm saying? Everybody's opinion matters in a discussion like that because you want to know, does white people feel like they, they should be able to say it or not? You get what I'm saying? How do they feel if they do say it? You know what I mean? Because it, it, it could be upbringing. It could be that they, they grew up in a predominantly black neighborhood and that's how they usually talk to their friends, which are black. It could be that, that they feel comfortable doing it because of that. So for them now to just forget a word because you say they, they're not allowed to say it, it's just stupid to me. It's a double standard. You know, and black people are always crying about stuff that they don't have and they want something to their own. And, and one of the craziest things happened to me the other day when I was talking to one of my friends and, and they're like, why is it that white people all of a sudden, you know, white girls, I should say, um, all of a sudden they want to wear cornrows and stuff like that. I said, when did you put your stamp on a hairstyle, honey? When? When did this happen? When did black people start owning hairstyles? That's what I want to know. What is this? You guys wear, whether it be Indian hair and all of this other hair, y'all tend to weave into your natural hair because you're too lazy. Yes, I'm saying lazy. You're too lazy to comb your natural hair and get it right when there are so many products out there that helps you to soften up the, the coarse texture of, of black hair now. And you're still out here wearing weaving stuff. So what does that say about you? I know there are women out there that go natural and they still talk about this stuff. But I'm saying you can't have it both ways. You get what I'm saying? And at the same time, they sh it shouldn't be a thing. Why are we getting upset over hairstyles? It's a, just a damn hairstyle. Grow up. It's just a hairstyle, man. It's not oppression. They just It's not cultural appropriation. It's just a damn hairstyle. That's like me telling you you can't eat Jamaican food. Because it's only for us. When when I'm trying to encourage so many different people to enjoy Jamaican food. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, you know, I want to get into an argument. <laughs> but anyways, um, thank you guys for checking this video out. Adam went dummy on this one. Dennis Rodman, man. Thank you guys so much for checking out these videos, man. And you guys love this guy as, as much as I do. Thank you guys, man, for coming to the channel, for enjoying the content and checking out. Make sure you check out the playlist of Adam Calhoun so you don't make the mistake of suggesting something that I've already reacted to. Thank you guys so much. Remember to like, subscribe if you're new, and also leave a comment in the comment section. And I will see you guys for the next one. Peace out.